if you've clicked on this video, you're probably thinking of buying a home soon. And with the housing market starting to cool down a little bit, you'll probably want to make sure your offer is the one offer that gets accepted. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys five secret tips that are going to help you get your offer accepted when buying a home in 2022. Before we get into it, I want to talk about the sponsor of this video, Aura. If you're like me and love saving money, you probably shared your Netflix password with your friends and family. And statistically, the average consumer has 90 accounts. It's most likely that you don't have 90 different passwords to go with each one. So if someone has one of your passwords, they probably have access to your other accounts. This can make you and your accounts extremely vulnerable to things like identity theft and fraud. And if you think that won't happen to you, just know that American consumers lost $56 billion from identity theft in 2020. 20. And that's a lot of money. This is why I've partnered with the sponsor of this video, Aura. Aura is an identity theft protection, fraud monitoring, a VPN, password management, and antivirus software all combined in one easy to use app that monitors the dark web for your emails, passwords, your social security number, and quickly sends alerts right to your phone and email. I've dealt with fraud and I know with fraud, every second matters. I love Aura because it can connect my credit and bank accounts and notify me of any changes up to four times faster than Aura's other competitors. Aura's VPN allows me to stay anonymous online by keeping my browser history and personal info safe and encrypted. And the best part is that Aura's antivirus software will block malware and viruses before they infect devices. Aura found my personal information on dark web five times in the past two weeks. So stay safe and start your two week free trial today at Aura.com slash just link. Once you sign up, don't forget to comment down below how many times your personal info was found. Back to the video. Let's talk about offer accepted. So tip number one is to have a great team. Now everything in real estate involves having a great team. And for the buyers out there, the real estate agent and the lenders are the most important. And this can make or break a deal from happening. Find local lenders and agents in the area that you are buying in. They'll have the most knowledge on how to get your offer accepted. Now for agents, you can go to Zillow, Redfin, any of those sites out there and search an area that you're looking to buy. You want to see who's selling the most homes in that specific area. They're probably going to have the best information out there in the context of the area because they are selling in the area and buying in that area. Not only this, but you may have an off-market deal that's not even on the MLS that you could grab from them before anyone else does. And for lenders, ask your real estate agent for the ones who they trust and work with the most. And don't be afraid to ask for multiple lenders or go out there and find multiple lenders yourself. They're going to be the ones to make your home buying possible. So you want to make sure you talk to a lot of lenders and get a lot of lenders to get you pre-approved. Now, also remember, in most states, you have no obligations to work with any of them until you sign an agreement. So search, do your due diligence, meet a lot of people until you know who will work for you the best. Tip number two is to offer an escalation clause. Now, an escalation clause is an addendum in your offer that has a section that you can outbid others offer max price up to your choosing. For example, if the seller is asking for a home for $500,000, your offer can be $505,000 with an escalation of $5,000 up to 550. There could be two outcomes. One, the highest bid was 520,000, so your bid is going to naturally be a $525,000 automatically where you will get your offer accepted. Or if someone bids over that $550,000 mark of your max price, you're just going to be backed out of the deal and you're going to have to look for a new home. Now, let your real estate agent and lender know about this that you're going to include this in your offer beforehand. That way they have an idea of where they need to put you in for your offer. Now, here's something that you have to remember. Lenders will give out loans only to the appraised value of the home. That means if the home, for example, is only worth $510,000, but you had your offer accepted at $520,000, you'll have to pay that $10,000 difference out of your pocket, which the lender has to have a specific record of you having that $10,000 in your bank. So remember to always discuss with your real estate agent and also your lender. Tip number three is to offer a lease back option in your offer. Now, with low inventory and some sellers having struggles to find a new home while they sell their old home, this is where you can ask your agent to offer a leaseback option if you notice that the seller is struggling to find their new home. Now, a leaseback option offers the seller to stay at that property after closing for a predetermined amount of time on the contract, depending on you and the seller, while they pay you to stay at that home. So basically, they'll be renting the home from you until they find a new home. Now, this can be a great
great bargaining chip to sellers who are looking to buy and sell at the same time without the risk of not having a home in the meantime. Tip number four is to pre-underwrite your loans. Pre-approval is pretty much required nowadays to go look at any homes and pre-approval gives you the amount that lenders are willing to approve you for the loan, but you can take it a step further with a pre-underwrite. Now, pre-underwriting is a process where your lender has reviewed all your finances and has guaranteed a home loan up to a specific price. That way there is no struggles when you do purchase the home. Now your lender will do a vet on your credit score, your debt, your income, your expenses, and everything in the nature beforehand. This way when you find the home that you love and you wanna buy, you are already clear to move forward without having any struggles during your off. This can make your closing faster and you don't have to include a financing contingency in your contract. So less contingencies mean better offer, which means better chance of closing. Now, tip number five is if worse comes to worse, just look for under construction homes. If you have the patience and the time to wait, consider getting a home that is under construction. With less competition, guaranteed of a home, you can try and look for under construction homes. Now remember, as a new home, it may be a little bit expensive, but without any bidding warrants and a guarantee that you have the lot, it may be the same. Plus, they usually offer some type of financial incentives to get you into the deal, maybe a lender's credit or some sort, but you always do get an incentive if you do ask. That being said, guys, those are your five secret tips on how to get the home you want in 2022. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you guys like and subscribe to this channel for more videos like these. And make sure you guys check out Aura if you're interested at aura.com slash Justin Lee. And with that being said, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.